Hey, what's going on guys? It's the director. I decided to start a new series on my channel that goes over each tile individually. This guide will go over spawn and portal locations, loot routes, and strategies when in Avalanche Village, or more commonly known as the Deep Snow Zone. The first topic I'm gonna go over is the spawn locations in Avalanche Village. There are two spawn locations. The spawn next to Apple Orchard is the best spawn out of the two because you can play aggressive or play passively with a lot of opportunity for information almost every 15 seconds if you take the passive route. The spawn is on the outskirts of the village next to the two cabins with the Apple Orchard. The second spawn location is one a little further in the village in between some of the cabins with not a lot of opportunity to get information. The next topic of this zone is the portal spawn locations. It's important to know where a portal can spawn because an enemy could be entering into your zone early game or because because you may need an exit later on. Avalanche Village has five possible portal locations. The first possible portal location is by the village spawn. The second portal location is near one of the cabins in Apple Orchard. The third possible location is up the giant hill through the deep snow. The fourth possible location is up the hill as well and it's located near a cabin. The last portal spawn is inside the cave. I do not expect you guys to know exactly where these spawns are at. That comes with time and game knowledge but hopefully this information will help you out. Next I'm going to go over the passive loot route for Apple Orchard spawn. So first on the passive route, you're gonna grab your two trees and turn around. Immediately you're gonna go down to the cabin because you can see if you have the zone to yourself or if there's an enemy who spawned with you. Along the route you have towards the next cabin, you have the chance for two chest spawn locations, one inside the cabin and one directly next to the boom shroom. The next step in your route is gonna take you on top of this hill. You can get there extremely fast by taking the boom shroom. Once you're on the hill, you have a few more chest spawns along with a few leather and trees as you make your way farther up the hill towards the cabin. Inside the cabin, there will be leather every time with a chance for another chest inside the cabin. The third and final step for this route will take you off the hill towards the cabin further down the hill. So the right of the cabin is the chance for a chest. This passive route ends right here because you hit four cabins and have the chance to hit a cabin about every 15 seconds if you never stop running, which gives you the chance to see radar four times within one minute. This next route is if you want to play aggressive from Apple Orchard spawn. Immediately harvest the two trees in front of you when you spawn and craft two arrows. You'll have a total of four unless you are running basic. You then run slightly to the left for a short distance and hit the boom shroom at an angle that'll launch you on top of one of the large cabins. From the moment you spawn till you reach the top of the cabin, it should have taken you no more than about 30 seconds. From this point, you'll be able to catch your enemy very close to their spawn point looting. If you do not play aggressive, I strongly suggest the passive route. The next route is if you spawn in the village at the second spawn. Immediately harvest your two trees and check and see if there's a chest directly behind you. Then head to the cabin and loot the leather inside and the one on the fence outside. From this point, you make your way into the large cabin to loot the leather and check the map on the second floor. By this point, you can figure out if the person is rushing you from Apple Orchard or if they're gonna be taking the passive route. If they're taking the passive route, you would loot the leather and the trees near the broken cabins and then head into the cabin that's along the way. There's a chance for a chest inside and directly outside the cabin. The last part of this route's gonna bring you to the center of the zone, which is the loot hotspot that has the chance for up to five chests. This is where the route ends because while looting the center of the village, the enemy that took the passive route can decide whether to attack you or just to leave the zone. So at this point, you yourself may wanna make your way out of the zone or make your way out of the passive route if you spawned alone. With these two loot paths, it's important to remember that the cave goes relatively untouched, even up into mid game. So there's a potential for a good amount of trees, leather, and chests that spawn inside. So if the portal did not spawn in there, definitely go ahead and take a look. All right, let's move on and pretend that you're already looted up and it's about mid to late game. If you're about to take a fight, there are two main spots that'll give you the advantage in a 1v1. The first spot being on top of the large cabin in the center of the tile. From this point, you have the high ground and can hide behind the slope of the roof while still being able to see your opponent. A quick way to make it on top of the roof is to go inside on the second floor, jump onto the railing, then to the ledge, and from there jump onto the roof. The next best place to take a fight is in Apple Orchard because of all the cover from the trees. I'm going to let Silent tell you why. I like having cover with the trees. These trees have a nice hitbox to them. If something goes awry, goes awry, goes awry, goes awry, goes awry, you have a boom from to get out of here. Mm -hmm. You have two different cabins, so you have complete vision. If it's like mid battle and you want to see if someone's vulturing you. The last part of this video is going to be this fun little boomstrom route that can get you into a fight quickly or out of danger fast. I really enjoy making these guides for you guys, so please take the time to like and subscribe so you do not miss this series. I would hate for you to miss out on all the information I'll be putting out on each tile. Also, a special shout out to Top 100 players Silent and Cat for helping me make this video possible. But that's it for me, guys. Have a good one.